Welcome back, I'm Dark Celtic, and this is Dom Hell of Zena, and he actually does respawn, so he gets to die. Why? Thank you for your souls. That is literally the only reason we killed him was for those souls. Pitiful, isn't it? <laughs> anyway. This is the uh, Dark Souls cleanup episode of Death Souls. It's the one that I take my time and I finish up the little bitty things and talk about where this character is going to go and all those good things. Um, first things first, level this up to 30. Done. Alright, let's go compare weapons now. Is it 30? It should be dealing a decent amount of damage now. Alright, we have 510 versus 434. 434 isn't that bad. But uh, we won't be using it still. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. Um, there it is. Uh, cleanup episodes is just like with my first playthrough uh, whenever I gave up and I said we're going to show the future of the character and where the character's going and those kind of things. Um, for the most part, this character is going to be fairly simple to explain. Um, it will eventually be a PvP character, level 80, um, mostly just 40 dexterity and stat distributions. Um, the ring system will be fixed. Uh, this everything will be upgraded to max. Uh, we will be using, we will actually be using uh, Life Hunt Scythe for PvP, and this for PvE because this is a good PvE weapon. Um, I may do the DLC in the next like if there's if there's a next episode, we'll be doing the DLC. Um, what else is there? Uh, this may be a new game plus character. This may not be. Um, one thing is for certain, I will not be killing Gwen in this playlist just yet. It will happen, but I want some time with this character so that um, I have a, f like, I want to go get as much stuff as I can like, I want to collect, like, all the rings and stuff with this character. I think I'm able to. But I'm going to collect as much items as I can that would be considered for the uh, achievements and stuff with this character um, before I go off and kill actually kill Gwen. Um, I will show Gwen's area right here. Uh, go get the Black Knight armor set. Uh, kill each one of the Black Knights because they drop pretty much everything up here. Um, so let's offer the souls that I've gotten. Should be a single animation. Yeah. Uh, and we will be doing the Dark Lord ending. Uh, it's the ending that I actually take to, uh, and leave and become the Dark Lord and all this junk. So, a bit different than most. Uh, we also need to go get our 10 Humanities and get our Dark Wraith um, orb. So that's important to get and use. I don't want to mess that up. Because New Game Plus I will definitely be doing PvP in the lower level areas to get Humanities and stuff like that. Um, I always thought this was cool that you had, like, knights walking in between these two right here. But they were never legitimate knights. When I first saw this, I actually got scared. Because, like, I was like, I'm going to be fighting ghosts now of black knights. Then you would have silver knights, black knights, and ghost knights. And that would just been crazy. Oh, but this place is so cool, isn't it? Just look at this place. I'm just like, just, just look at it, okay? Oh, look at dude. But just look at it. This place is just... This is one of the most snazzy places in the game. And the first time I walked into this area, and I actually looked, 
I was just amazed with the art direction of this area. I was literally just completely happy with being here. I, I felt happy being here. I was just like, wow. Because it's just simply beautiful. And that's really all it comes down to, is this area was just beautiful to look at. And I fully just loved it. I love this entire area, basically. Uh, let's get that critical, because I'll be freaking doing that this entire time. Ooh, Titanite Chunk. That'll come in handy. Uh, this is also where I farm my Titanite Chunks. Um, oh, some of them, anyway. Uh, I also farm them in other places, but you get the point. I get a lot of Titanite Chunk most of the time. Like, I ended up with, like, a whole bunch of them with some playthroughs. Oh, I forgot that like goes through everything in the world. Because this guy has a stupid weapon. Backstab. And give me your great at great sword. No red tie knight chunk. I'll take that too. I end up with so many chunks like at the end of game at these end of these games and stuff that it's not even funny. Typically. Uh, which reminds me, we'll probably go to Sin's Fortress. And like I'm gonna do a lot of grinding and stuff like that after this video. Um, because this is the cleanup video, and after this video is the grinding stuff. And I don't want to show that on camera and make you all bored. Um, so at the end of this video, I'm just going to finalize the character, um, collect rings, and and like collect items that I've been wanting, and um, all that good stuff. Thousand fifty-seven. Take that. Uh, but that's pretty much what this episode is. Um, just cleaning up these guys, uh, telling you about what this character is going to be doing, um, and telling you the future of where this playlist is going. Now, the playlist, that's what we need to talk about next, the playlist. Um, the playlist is going to be a little bit different um, than a typical playthrough type thing. This playlist is two playthroughs in one. So, the idea is I'm going to get both of these guys... Um, Legit Souls and Death Souls, because this is Death Souls. This is Grudge Bringer, I believe. Deathbringer. This is Deathbringer. Grudge Bringer is a level 25 guy I'm working on. Um, anyway, um, this guy is the evil one, the one that goes Dark Wraith and all that good stuff. Whereas Dark Celtic is the good one and is the Sunbro, and we will be working on him as well soon. Now, I haven't actually done a repost on this guy before. And I did it. Oh, I get some. I feel good on that. <laughs> I'll wait it for the attack frame, or what I assume to be the attack frame. But, uh, yeah. Why Titan Chunk? That's cool. But yeah, I'll be using the... I'll be going to Sense Fortress and getting the um, item booster, you know, so that I can actually take and do these guys a bit, a little bit better. Um, oh, that wasn't a backstab, come on. There it is. But yeah, this is Gwyn's uh, boss fog, uh, for the most part. Oh, there's my shield. Thank you. Thank you. That right there is my shield. Look at that. Actually, I... I think this is what I'm going to create the level 25 character to look like. Go get... I'm going to... Mm, I don't know. If I'm able to get the Black Knight Shield, I'm definitely going to run this. But either way, I'm going to be using the Gargoyle Halberd. I like the Gargoyle Halberd. I think this is what we're going to make the level 25 character to look like. Uh, maybe not the Havel's Gauntlets, but I'm going to work to see if we can't get something worked out. Because this is an awesome build. Anyway, I want to see how much damage I can deal to Gwen. And we're going to die to him. 
Uh, but really, this boss fight's just reposting the guy until he's dead. Um, and that's not too bad. Uh, his grab's really what bothers people, or bothers me anyway. He's got a decent grab. Now the music to this area is amazing. I'm okay with dying. Because again, we're only here just to show what Gwen looks like and how things are working with him. Uh, his boss, his boss fight's literally just reposting. Ah, if I can even get one in, that's fine. But anyway, all you gotta do is at least repost him once, and then you have all this time to Estus Flask and like just deal damage through reposting and stuff like that. So I'm not worried about fighting him at all in any way, shape, or form. Um, I can beat him easily at this point. Um, but I consider the game over. I uh, consider this this Death Souls to be over. Um, and the next time you see this character, he will be a completed level 80 build with everything set up and pretty much finalized for what I want him to be. Um, and we'll kill Gwen when this character is completely done. Maybe before I kill Gwen, we'll go do the DLC. Yeah, we'll probably do the DLC. Which is probably what you'll see in the next episode of this. It'll be like a bonus episode. Maybe. Maybe. We'll make that a different playlist. Because that, need, that needs to be a different playlist. You know? Um, so yeah. I'm going to finalize this character. I'm going to like take off, grind, use that ring to find, you know, stuff that I want, upgrade this shield, um, grind out some souls, purchase out, you know, Twinkling Titanites, finish off everything, um, go get rings, go get everything, and, you know, achievement hunt for a little bit, um, and use the warp destination and do all of that, and then... I'm going to create another playlist called DLC Reaction because I haven't done the reaction, like I haven't done any, literally I haven't done any of the DLC. I know how to get the DLC started um, and then I have to kill like the Hydra and like go behind it and kill this Crystal Golem uh, and kill the Crystal Golem and um, after rescuing Dusk. I know how to rescue Dusk, I've done that. I know how to initiate the DLC but I've never actually done the DLC. So look for that playthrough playlist will be a playthrough of the DLC and I'll be watching and looking at the DLC and having fun with it um, I know what items are there I just haven't seen any items that's actually piqued my interest for like PvP and stuff maybe if I was running a mage pursuer you know because everybody's using it right now um, but I haven't really seen any like weapons to use I haven't really been interested in any of those um, other than that, uh, yeah, this playlist is done. Um, I want to show both endings. Um, so what I'm going to do... Actually, yeah... Since I've showed you guys this playlist right here, okay, and you've seen me actually complete the game um, in a pretty much chronological order, I'm going to take Dark Celtic. I'm going to go ahead and beat the game with him tonight, and I'm only going to record the fight with Gwen with him. Since we've been really back and forth with these two playthroughs, I might as well show the next episode to be the ending of the game. So, I'm going to take Dark Celtic, go beat the game with him, and yeah, I'm going to show the fight with Gwen using Dark Celtic, and instead of doing the Dark Lord option, I will light the fire, which for some reason I believe that this has, like, Xbox has cheated me out of getting that achievement because for some reason I've beat the game a couple times and it's saying that I haven't so I'm interested to see what's going on there um, cause
because if you if you look, because I think that's how like everything's going. Defeat Gwendolyn, Chaos, Nito, Four Kings, Seat the Scalas. See, like I've killed the bed of Chaos, Nito, Four Kings, and Scalas before, and none of those popped up during this. Killed the Crossbreed, entered the path of the dragon, placed the Lord Vessel, Ride of Kindling, Covenant, 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 Estus Flasks. Oh well, yeah. But the Dark Soul this stuff. This stuff is what I'm missing. And one of these are the Dark Lord, and one of these, like, these two right here, it's like it's not saying that I've actually beat the game. So, I want to go beat the game. But I don't want to beat it with this character, because this is an actual PvP character. Uh, Dark Celtic, it right now, isn't my PvP character. He's just my character I've really had fun with, and played around on, and is kind of my main character for fun. Uh, this guy's a PvP character. Um, so yeah, Next episode in this playlist is me beating the game, Legit Souls, Gwyn, Fight. Um, so yeah, that's what's going to happen. And after that, because this is the final up video before it, after that episode will be the Dark Lord episode for this. But that episode will take a bit longer to do. Um... Maybe not because of how I upload, because I do upload chunks, and I'm pretty sure <laughs> this is being uploaded a long time from now. So let me think here for just a second. It won't be that long of a time between these two videos, but I'm talking to myself technically now. Yeah, I shouldn't have went through all of that discussion, but oh well. Anyway, you'll get to see both endings from both characters, Dark Celtic and, Le and um, Deathbringer. Yeah and you will get to see both endings for both characters. Um, and then I'm going to do a DLC reaction using this character fully upgraded, a DLC reaction. So thank you for watching and um, stay tuned for that playlist and feel free to watch me destroy Gwen with uh, Dark Celtic uh, and you'll get to actually see where that character ended up and I'll do a little segment about where he ended up as well because uh, I'm sure you guys are interested. So thank you for watching, stay tuned for more, and I'm going to go ahead and beat the game again tonight. <laughs> Later, guys.